Folks, what is up and welcome back to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. The timing on that was very cool, Zach. Well thank done. you, thank you. I was very proud of that. Uh, our guest <laughs> voice actor, Nezumi. Hi. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. <laughs> Folks, if you like this, uh, please join us watching this every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, interact, with us, interact with us in the chat. Have a good time, make a lot of fun jokes. Uh, our community, hot take, pretty cool. Uh, and if you can, please support us over on patreon.com slash save did a team. You can get a bunch of cool things there, including the $10 level and above. You get your name included in this month's brand new Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Cud, Dave Paul, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Taco, Sensei, and Alistair Logano, 1JFJ. Witch Tower, Kevin Asian, Selfaria, Arky, Forensic, Becknick, Cola, Vira, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacobel, Crimson, Chrissy, Sheber, Steam, Riger, Rilla, Jolie, Soul Mistress, BBC, What, and Sherlock, Mr. Mercosil, Art, Ami, Borshock. Amelia, Super Cool, Fluff, Guff, Panic, Pang, Tremor, Diego Garcia, Charlie, and Boomer, Emily. Mega Zero, Big Kerbo, who needs to sleep, Alea, Yakta, Est, Ever, Entropy, Daedric, and Serafina, Maho, Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty Morabar, Jack Warner, Raz, Red Crest, Crow Knight, QB, Nagashi, Mickey, AC, The Jester, and Shadow, and Avi. Desert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rats, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribe, Zeal, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Chain the Punisher, Sevilla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Uh, I see people saying I'm forgetting to show something. Oh, I guess I can show this at the top of the show. Uh, hey, Emma, Emma Sky, member of the community, uh, who you might know as the person who's made all the Mr. Hats, uh, sent me something in the P.O. box of Ooh. one of the uh, little Ace Ace hearts, uh, Ace hearts, Ace cards with the little drop of blood on it, and uh, a cute little note Aww. as well. Uh, oh, nice! Shout out to you, Emma, and also shout out to the PO box, folks. If you want to send something to, to have us physically examine in real life, just send it to the PO box. I know we have a lot to get to today. Yep. Um, we do have to do one thing real briefly before we start. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay. We have to read just the first three paragraphs of Gina Carano's complaint against <laughs> me. We just have to. So for those who don't know, uh, Gina Carano is a really bad actress and <laughs> for, former, I think former MMA fighter, pretty bad actress. What she is most known for is yes. appearing in seven episodes of The Mandalorian. Yes. The reason uh -huh. she only appears in seven episodes is because she got fired back, I think, in 2020. It's been a minute. It's been say. a minute. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah it's been a while. For a combination of transphobia, COVID denial, and <laughs> yeah. she got herself fired because she's just the worst. Uh huh. She's suing Disney for law unlawful termination, mm -hmm. and her lawsuit is being funded by Elon Musk mm -hmm. because she just. You have to bring in as many- I didn't know that, as Jesus possible. Christ. Yeah. So what we have in front of us is the complaint uh, from Gina Carano against Walt Disney Company, Lucasfilms, and Huckleberry Industries. I don't know what that is, but they must have some sort of prepare. Uh, the complaint filed in the US District Court, uh, Central District of California. And this, everyone, I want to show this to you because this is how not to write a legal file. <laughs> And we're just gonna do the first three paragraphs of the introduction because it is terrible. <laughs> a oh short time god. ago, in a galaxy not so far away, <laughs> oh my fucking defend god! Defendants made it clear that the that only one orthodoxy in thought, speech, or action was acceptable in their empire, and that those who dared to question or fail to fully comply would not be tolerated. And so it was with Carano. After two highly acclaimed seasons on The Mandalorian as Rebel Ranger Cara Dune, Carano was terminated from her role as swiftly as her character's peaceful old planet of Ultimate <laughs> had been destroyed by the Death Star in an earlier Star Wars film. No! 
And all this because she dared voice her own opinions on social media platforms and elsewhere and stood up to the online bully mob who demanded her compliance with their extreme progressive ideology. This cannot be real. Defendants' wrath over their employees' social media posts also differ depending on sex. Even though the force is female, defendants <laughs> chose to target a woman while looking the other way when it came to men. When Karana was fired, defendants took no action against male actors who took equally or more vigorous and controversial positions on social media. This is referring to Pedro Pascal saying trans people are good. That's literally what they're referring to. Wow. Jesus. But the rule of law still reigns over the defendant's empire, and Carano <laughs> has returned to demand that they be held accountable for their bullying, discriminatory, and retaliatory actions. Actions that inflicted not only substantial emotional harm, but, <laughs> billion, but millions of dollars in lost income. Millions of dollars. Oh my I God. need that. I need that to do the Star Wars fucking like slide <laughs> down. Yeah, yeah, you can crawl of that. Uh, yeah, I, I, can put that I really in. need I that. that. Y'all don't include a bunch of cringeworthy jokes in your legal filings. Um, <laughs> no, genuinely, it's generally, this... oh, really bad idea. That's this pretty... is like. It, this is like legal, like fan fiction. Like, <laughs> this is like Ace Attorney. <laughs> it's so embarrassing that I, like, I, I had to find multiple people posting that it was real before I could possibly believe it was real. It's pretty good. It's just, it's just terrible. Oh. And we all it's needed, a, to, uh... and we all needed to experience that. Where's, where's that like that that folding ideas clip where he's like, in, in a word, <laughs> this is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Incredible. Incredible. All right. all right. But with that all out of the way, let's get back <laughs> into the game. What were we doing? Oh, we just wanted to do some music. <laughs> well, apparently, the song stops there. There was a brief. <laughs> Well, the music did stop. That's incredible. Uh, uh, yeah, when we last left, last left off, uh, we were just about to listen to the song to find out because she said she stopped singing. Yeah. When, when she heard the gunshots, so. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The song does stop there. It does. Well, I must have missed it. Look at the lyric sheet. The top of the second verse. See where it says, pleasure, pleasure? <laughs> That's what, what kind uh -huh. of song is this again? <laughs> now listen again. <laughs> Did it show Machi in the original video? He looks cool as fuck on that piano. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it did before. Unless I'm just remembering wrong. Oh, uh, she only says pleasure once. Mm -hmm. This is evidence indeed. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. <laughs> this, this, this is what I call evidence. <laughs> now that's what I call evidence. <laughs> Volume three. <laughs> that's how low the bar is at this point. <laughs> Legally qualifies as evidence. <laughs> I believe we are guilty of making a terrible mistake. Guilty. Jail time for <laughs> all of us. The crime didn't happen during the third set. It happened during the second, during Lamiwar's ballad. If that is true. And no one on stage during the second set could have been the shooter. Which means that Darian Crescend could have done it. He wasn't on stage for the second set. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Fascinating. I don't believe I've ever seen a trial turned around quite so thoroughly. I mean, this is like our- And you haven't been in an Ace Attorney game for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, one problem remains. Oh, what's that, Prosecutor Gavin? 
He's my bad I don't want him to go to jail. <laughs> we really hurt our it's CD sales. We will, we will get cancelled, <laughs> and I don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> Her forehead's theory does have a certain kind of logic to it. Yet it is entirely based upon Lamuwa's testimony. Yes? Is there a problem with this? Well, there is the fact that she lies a lot. <laughs> that, might, well, that might present uh, a conflict. Objection! She swallowed during that one part of her testimony, <laughs> therefore she is a liar, therefore entire <laughs> testimony thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> she made a basic biological action. <laughs> Instant liar. Well, it's quite simple, though it pains me to say it. What if she is lying to protect the defendant? Dude, what if you're lying to protect your bandmate? I don't know, it seems like a conflict of interest. <laughs> well, damn, you've got me there. But <laughs> you have no proof! All I'm saying is that the truth is as yet unclear. Until we hear directly from the man himself. Okay, good. I'd uh, like to, like to cross-examine him. I'd love to cross-examine Daria. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. The man? You don't mean. <laughs> yeah, the man. The man. <laughs> yes. Though he's a friend and band member, Darian Crescent must take the stand. I see no other way. As someone with a new perspective on the case? As a suspect, to be frank. I thought your name was Clavier! <laughs> Finally! The rat's coming out of his hole! What do you yeah. mean by this, yeah. Apollo? You can't, you can't say that, Apollo. The shark's coming out of his cave! And I'm yes. ready to catch it! <laughs> Darian Crescent! Call me the main character from Jaws, because I'm ready to hunt me a shark. He's got a doll's eyes, and I'm ready to catch him. Darian Crescend, get ready for justice! Call me Captain Ahab, because whales and sharks are close enough for a <laughs> <joke. laughs> This is as good a time as any to pause for a brief recess. The prosecution will summon the witness. Have him here and ready by the time we begin. I'm the last man who needs to be reminded of what his duties are. Uh, okay. Very well. Court is adjourned for a 15-minute recess. So, uh, I, I, this definitely presents a conflict of interest for Clavier, like, legally, right? I mean, this whole, I mean, this has been a college of interest from the start when it took place at his concert. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, I guess that's not a conflict of interest per se, but like, you would already not want to make this guy the prosecutor right. of mm -hmm. this case. Yeah. Now it's definitely a conflict of interest, yes. But like, again, from the beginning, you'd never want him on this case. He's way too personally invested in this. Yeah. Should have been, uh, should have been Winston Payne instead. Yeah. Shame. Honestly, exactly. bring him back for more cases. Beat his ass. It feels good. No, but Greg, because we would have, because then we would have won the case by day one. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, she the punisher gifted five dollars saying, "Call me Captain A Cab because I'm gonna catch a bad cop shark." That's really good. <laughs> that's really yeah, good. That's good. Damn. Remake, remake Moby Dick with a, as an anti-police metaphor and call him Captain A Cab. <laughs> Moby Moby Dick Gumshoe. Oh, it's even better! Also really good, yeah. Damn. Damn. We gotta get on this. <laughs> this right itself. Really good. Apollo! I can't believe it! It really happened during the second act? And right in the middle of Lamuar's performance? The reason why she was in the air vent and that switch and the flaming guitar. You link it all together, that's what you end up with. I knew you hate worthy too. Swedish guy. Whoa! Oh, hey. Ah, Daddy! Mr. Wright! You believed in me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not really. 
Huh? I just thought it'd make a cooler entrance than saying hiya. How do I even bother hoping? <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been lately, Daddy? You haven't been coming to the office at all! Uh, sorry about that, Trucy. I'm on a secret mission. To get milk and cigarettes. It's <laughs> <laughs> the gift secret? that keeps on giving. You mean like you're undercover? Like Mr. Latouse, only shorter and not as well dressed. That's the pot <laughs> calling the kettle black on that one, Apollo, but sure. <laughs> Oh no! What if you're shot too, Daddy? <laughs> Would I do a thing like that to you? Also, come on, Trucy. If I got shot, I, I'd probably live. Because I'm just built differently. <laughs> anyway. But if I have to cross a bridge, then yeah, that might go badly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm off for a while again. Huh? You're leaving? Oh, one thing before I go. What? <laughs> Look. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> right. Um. Is that all you came to say? I think you have things pretty much under control. Get Machi Tobaye off the hook, no doubt. Yeah, but. You're after that detective, aren't you? Darian Crescent. Won't be easy proving he did it. Especially not under the current court system. It's almost like it's corrupt, Apollo. <laughs> the current court system? What did Prosecutor Gavin say during that trial? Your case is based, period, on one <laughs> fragile assumption. <laughs> Namely, that our diva divine is telling the truth. But... What about all the proof? The brooch! And the switch! A piece of jewelry and a lyrical blunder. There are plenty of other ways to explain these things. The flaming guitar, too. Spontaneous combustion does exist. I read about it on <laughs> Wikipedia. All because you lack definitive proof of their connection to the case. But... If the sultry songstress is lying, your case smelts like butter in a frying pan. What are you- are you becoming Godot? What? <laughs> I don't know! Leaving behind the faintly singed scent of failure. So you what do I do? That's a little Godot right It is there. very Godot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, trite. <laughs> like I said, good luck. <clears throat> Be aware that it'll be impossible to prove his guilt by conventional methods. Uh, so cheat. So cheat. Oh, <laughs> so forge evidence. Do what I so did that time I lost evidence. my law, law degree. My, my badge? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Ah. Uh, nice. Fluff in the chat said he's, he's hobo. <laughs> God. Waiting for hobo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. I have something to give you from our detective friend. Detective Sky? Emma! Let's see. This. God damn it. This bag she of. Left this ba she left this plastic bag of dog turds <laughs> on my porch. <laughs> this bag of snacks here was meant for me. Ah, here it is. What are those, Daddy? They don't look like very good snacking material. They were found at the scene. Analysis of the fragments revealed traces of gunpowder. Gunpowder? Probably a firecracker or something similar. The one kids are like the ones kids are into these days. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, you know those, kid. those firecrackers that kids like. These yeah, fragments yeah, yeah. were found under the sofa at the scene of the crime, actually. We're gonna go play Jacks down by the soda fountain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Under the sofa? Hey, Apollo! That's where we found that little device thingy! Oh, uh, okay. 
right. This. So it wasn't a gunshot that they heard. It was this that set off the firecrackers, which again feels like a little bit too elaborate, but I guess if you've got one burning switch, you can make two. Oh, finally some evidence that makes sense. Okay. That's all for me, I suppose. See you after the verdict. Maybe. All right. If you fuck up, uh, don't bother coming home. <laughs> Sleep on the street, Apollo. <laughs> Every man has an igniter inside of him. Excuse me? Okay, a that's very the, normal that's, response. That's the right reaction. <laughs> I'm really into uh, Demon Slayer. Set your heart ablaze. Find Daring Kershen's igniter and set it off. Roast his ass. And he walked out of the door just like... Just like a magician, normally. <laughs> oh, he finally uh, learned. <laughs> uh, what does he want us to do? No conventional methods. What's that? What does that mean? Cheat. <sighs> I guess we'll just have to take his advice and Cheat. hope it makes sense when the time comes. I guess. Almost at the finish line. Hang in there, Trucy. Aaron's like, I'm more confused now than I was before. <laughs> okay. Rabble, 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 rabble. Court is now back in session. Prosecutor Gavin, where is Detective Crescent? Flood the in country. In the lounge. <laughs> We can't find it. Completely any gone. Time. Somewhere without an extradition treaty, we uh, are shit out of luck. I was told that he was going to get milk and cigarettes in <laughs> Virginia, it says here. <laughs> Very well. Might I add, I don't believe any of this. Damn, bro. He. Okay. Darian was the first detective I ever worked with. We stopped working together when he moved to Criminal Affairs, Division 3. But his guitar playing, it fires my imagination. That's nice, but it has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <laughs> Get him, Apollo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fry that That's pony. nice. <laughs> He's a good guitar. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish, but Darian Kershen had the most guilty verdict of all time. Of all time! <laughs> <laughs> Correct? Oh, I know. Her forehead. Very well. Call the final witness to the stand. For real this time. It's the final Detective witness. Darian Crescent. Name and occupation, please. Darian Crescent, Detective, Criminal Affairs Division 3. That's the International Affairs Division, for those of you who didn't know. I'm just gonna try and flex, and it doesn't really matter at all, but... Uh... Uh, by the way, I'm uh, really cool. <laughs> and I'm the guitarist for the Gaviners. It's the, uh... You've heard of us. It's the, uh, Criminal Affairs Department that flex. <laughs> what do you think the hair is for? <laughs> oh my god. It's definitely not compensating for anything. It's going to go there as a part where everyone is animal themed. I got the shark. One of the cool ones. <laughs> You're like cartilage missiles. <laughs> do you fully understand the circumstances under which you stand before us today? Yeah, I understand, Your Honor. What I don't understand is how you let this happen, partner. <gasps> they were partners. You can't say that! <laughs> That's not your word! <laughs> it belongs to them! You gave me your word I wouldn't be standing here. Well, the maybe you not kill that guy! <gasps> and don't call me Oh, Yo! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! You must be in a good mood right now. Wait, so you're single? 
Hey, what's the deal here? Also, are you sad right now? No, they're not partners. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So much for old friends. I see what you're doing, Darian. You're pressing the prosecution. Your Honor, if we could begin the trial. Uh, yes, it's high time we did. Uh, let's hear your testimony. You may begin with your response to Lamiwa's testimony. If, in fact, you have anything to say about it. Oh, I got plenty to say. Lying must be a national pastime in Virginia. Jesus Christ. Wow. And wherever you're from, Mr. Justice. <laughs> right here. Japanifornian, that's, love that's, raised. That's my name. <laughs> Conventional methods are out the window, huh? Here goes nothing. Uh, Apologies pulls out a god. Admit you're guilty. <laughs> <laughs> if you admit you're guilty, I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, too unconventional there. <laughs> maybe, maybe Didn't pull it. Say back how a bit. far to go with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darian's rebuttal. <laughs> but <clears throat> the diva's lying, plain and simple. She's got nothing to back up her story. In the first place, she never heard my voice. She forgot the words because she heard gunshots? <laughs> As if. Didn't Detective Emma Sky hear those gunshots during the third set anyway? The shooting took place when I was on stage, man! I, could, I can't help but notice that he's, like, testifying for her for half of this testimony. I know. Yeah. It's not his own thoughts, it's him... Saying she's like, what oh, she couldn't have heard that. Thoughts are. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> so you claim Lammy War's testimony was a lie. Hey, don't get me wrong. I dig what she's got, what she's doing, trying to protect that kid. And she's got the court eating vague statements out of her hand just because she's blind. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. You go too far, Darian. Okay. I mean, Clavier, you were kind of doing the same yeah, thing earlier. Yeah, yeah. You, were doing a, you were doing a little ableism yourself, but sure. Look, all I'm saying is you've got a reliable witness. Why not listen to the detective? Detective Sky? Hmm. I see. Uh, Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. Didn't waste any time finding our weak spot. I can't do this without Lemuar's testimony alone. I'll have to find some other way to prove the shoot prove when the shooting took place. Well, it's gotta be the the new thing we just got, right? The... Yeah, the, the fragments or whatever. Look, look at them. Look at those fragments. What's going on with these fragments? Oh, you think this is some kind of firecracker? Yeah, or one of those noisemakers. Like you shoot off a new on New Year's. Do you know that in China they use firecrackers on New Year's to scare off evil? <laughs> so it's <laughs> kind of the same thing. What? <laughs> really? I had no idea. <laughs> Yeah, the judge, I, like, I, sitting over there, like, uh, what, what are you guys talking about? Can we get back to the top? <laughs> <laughs> Is this trivia oh, wait, suit or wait. race attorney? Well, did you know this? It takes more than 500 peanuts to make one 12-ounce jar of peanut butter. Was Shu Takumi just, like, finding random ways to stick in little fun facts? <laughs> like, at least my useless fact had, some, fact had something to do with ev the evidence. He had he has one of those calendars that has like a random fact on it. And he's just like, you know, oh, the world needs to know about this. It's like a uh, yeah. I was gonna say uh, King Kieran is, is the Uchikoshi moment. Uh, <laughs> oh God, like putting in <laughs> that gonna be relevant fun facts. Yeah. Oh, shoot, <laughs> I meant to say in the intro again. 
uh, we're starting I the Somnium File, not this upcoming Monday, but the next Monday. I the Somnium File too. So Ooh. be excited for that, folks. I don't know if something got cut off there, but I don't think it did. We were mostly doing shtick. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I think we were just laughing. I think I think we were just laughing at. Anyway, we're talking about the Somnium Files and laughing at. Actually, I was there too. Yeah. Actually, I was there too. So I hear. Which means you heard them too, right? The gunshots. Yes, we heard gunshots. Neither I nor Emma actually saw the shooting, mind you. <laughs> I guess you and Lammy War got the same excuse then. We know one thing for certain, yeah. There were gunshot-like sounds that emanated from that room during the third set. Okay. What we must determine is whether those sounds were actually gunshots. Maji heard them too. Remember? He said he ran for the air duct when he heard them. So, how do we figure out just what those gunshots during the third set were? Yeah, okay, it's definitely the firecrackers. <laughs> Wait, have we had the... Oh, it's grayed out this, we can't use it. Was that always up there? The, uh -huh. the bracelet? I didn't remember seeing it before. Uh... I don't. I can't remember if it's in the original game, but I know that it's been there, like when I've been playing this. Oh, okay. Objection! Boom. Some things were found at the crime scene after yesterday's trial. What things? The first was this small device. Oh God! He's got a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's the remote triggered igniter. Correct. And one more thing. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The remains of something burnt? Not another guitar, I hope. Yes. Traces of gunpowder were found on these fragments. We have a report that it was something like a firecracker. How did Gavin know about this? What? You think Detective Sky works for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's really I received the report this morning before coming here. That's when I made my decision, actually. What, what decision is this, Prosecutor Gavin? I registered Darian as a witness in today's trial. Just in case. This raises another possibility. Those Definitely gunshot... did not appreciate hearing that. <laughs> Those gunshot-like sounds during the third set could have been two firecrackers rigged to go off by a remote control. His pose. Ha <laughs> ha! You got an active imagination, don't you? But you shouldn't say every little thing you think. Your explanation there seems a bit too convenient to me. How so? Because it makes me look bad. <laughs> so, you're saying these so, like, firecrackers just it. happen to go up. You're saying these firecrackers just happened to go off. Are we going to have to say, go no, there was the remote controlled trigger that set them off? Right when you two witnesses came walking by? Ha! Bro. 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 That's right. Darian was out on stage when it happened, Apollo. Yeah, but he How also he know fucked up playing. Was... Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. That could be what it is. Um, how would he know someone was backstage right then? If a firecracker goes off in a forest and there's no one to hear, you get my drift. Why go through the trouble, man? That's not how a line goes. It doesn't make a sound. How do I explain <laughs> this? He may not look it. But Darian is a gifted detective. <laughs> I know he looks stupid. 
<laughs> Trust me, we all make fun of him behind his back. <laughs> hey. Show any weakness and he's sure to find it. He may not look it, partner. <laughs> Gee, thanks, man. <laughs> that you look an idiot. Have you seen your hair? <laughs> what do you want me to say? You're dressed like a shark. <laughs> what, really? Oh my god, why did nobody tell me? That's so embarrassing! <laughs> I never noticed! Oh my god, it's like teeth are- Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh! <laughs> See, I just- I thought I was just- I, I just put on the first thing I saw in my closet! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I happened to pass through that very hallway several times that day myself. And I saw something odd there just before the third set. Something odd? Your fursuit. <laughs> <laughs> A headset. The kind all of the band and staff members were wearing. That's right. We picked this up in front of the door to that dressing room. What if that headset wasn't dropped, but placed? Mm -hmm. And what if it was turned on? You could hear what was going on in that hallway, even if you were out on stage. Hey, thanks, Javier. <laughs> Whose side are you on, Gavin? Listen to me, Darian. There are no sides in a court of law. Well, that's not true. Okay, <laughs> there are two sides. <laughs> there are the defense and the prosecution. <laughs> they're, they're very crucial, actually, to the whole way the whole thing works, is to be very explicit about the sides. Okay, what the fuck are you talking about? Which is why I now turn to you, Herr Forhead. Now, to be fair, the prosecutor's side is to be for the pursuit of justice, which means they can go against their own, which means they should go against their own side if it's in the pursuit of dust justice. So he's not completely wrong there, but there are absolutely sides. He's only mostly wrong. He's only just mostly wrong. I've got a question for you. Huh? For me? The igniter and the burnt fragments that were found at the scene of the crime. It's certainly a possibility that they were part of a ruse to fake the sound of gunshots. Throw the headset from the hallway into the mix, and you could fabricate an alibi. But we're still no closer to proving anything. Those gunshots might have been real or fake. We can't say. Yeah, I just, you know, pranked everybody with a bunch of fake gunshots. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Got you guys! <laughs> You've raised the possibility that the shots heard during the third set were fake. Crazy fake gunshot prank gone wrong at 3 a.m. <laughs> I feel like any time, I feel like any time your prank involves fake gunshots, it's gone wrong. <laughs> In parentheses, <laughs> Romain Latou is dead, not clickbait. <laughs> it's just a picture of Darian going like... Yeah. <laughs> also, Mr. Beast is there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Murder to real anthropologist. I'm gonna give this guy a million dollars if he can prove his friend innocent in a court of law. Yeah. Now you need to prove the other half of the case. The other half? Look, I'll just tell him. He wants you to prove the thing went down in the second act while our little piano player was on stage. That right, Gavin? Indeed, if you can't prove that, then to continue this cross-examination would be pointless. Hmm. Well, Mr. Justice, can you prove the crime took place during the second set? Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> you better know, Apollo. Otherwise, we're through. It can be proven. It can be taught. <laughs> you make it sound like someone else is going to come along and do it for you. Maybe Perhaps I'm will. hoping that someone will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Uh, winging it here. 
Let's continue with the cross-examination then, shall we? Witness your testimony, if you would. <sighs> this isn't going to be easy. I need some decisive proof, and fast. <laughs> you ready, kid? Because I am. Bro. Uh... A second, that you're sure? Let's see your proof. Okay. okay. Honestly, what you said uh, about him fucking up—well, that was during the third set, wasn't it? That he fucked up. Uh, yes. Okay. Was it? Or maybe it I was mean, during the. I mean, it could have been. I mean, it couldn't have been during the second set because he wasn't on during the second yeah, set. Yeah. So I mean, I guess it would make sense. Yeah. That it was I third. think it was during the third is when he he fucked up the gotcha. the guitar. I mean, like, everything makes sense. We just don't have, like, a good way of being, like, yeah, this is definitive. I'm sure we mm -hmm. do. Um, hmm. uh, <laughs> this egg. I mean, think, I mean, so what What do we know took place in the second set? Oh, it was, I mean, you can do it was, this. Oh. Oh, look look for a look for like the sound of a shot somewhere. Do that's do the, the singing. That's do the, the gunshot. Because I feel like the singer would be the one that would have mm. the noise. Because she's apparently still singing while she's in the vent. Right. Mm -hmm, that's yeah. So there's potential she mm, caught. That's the, a good point, the, yeah, with the, the gunshot went off then. Or the gunshot sound. It'd be during the pleasure section. Right here. Turn turn all the other ones down. Just the just the lyrics. <laughs> the lyrics. Yeah. Yep, there it was. Yeah, oh, so, there it so is. Only if you mute everything else can you hear that. Okay. All right. Because if I had this on. Oh, because the, the symbol the, like, plays at the exact yeah. same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, video game. Oh, That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. That's pretty good. That's spicy. Uh, objection, sir. Uh, objection, my good man. It seems there was clear proof left behind. <laughs> right here in Lemuar's song. Her song? What exactly is this, uh, device thingy? It's a cell phone, Your Honor. Don't worry. It's a device. It's a device. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're making them huge nowadays. <laughs> a new variety of gramophone, perhaps? Come on, we just use this! Don't get me started with gramophone. This device was used to record the performance part by part. Part? Do you not know what the word part means? <laughs> music? <laughs> what is music? I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> you move the sliders to adjust the volume. Oh, oh like ham, like hamburgers. I know all about <laughs> that. Sliders, yeah, sliders, hamburgers. <laughs> Maya Each once instrument. again busts through the wall. Somebody, somebody called me. <laughs> Each instrument is adjustable separately. Lamiwa's voice included. Oh, -ho! Uh, but what does this prove? According to Lamuar's testimony, the moment of the shooting, she forgot the words to the song. Ah, you intend to examine the recording at that moment, yeah? We might even hear those gunshots. I, I already yeah. did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we hey, heard hey, that. Hey. Spoiler alert. We're, we're gonna hear some gunshots. Exactly. <laughs> 
ridiculous. Why are you sweating, bro? <laughs> he says, How are you sweating loudly? <laughs> <laughs> How are you supposed to hear gunshots back in that dressing room out on stage? Have you forgotten, Darian? We were all wearing these headsets. Uh, oh. We were all deeply involved in our performance. But Lamiwa's headset would have picked up what she heard all the same. Then let's get to analyzing that recording. Yeah, whatever. We've already done this. <laughs> right now! Lamiwa stopped singing when she heard the shots fired. Find that spot, and I'll find the gunshots! Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did this. Bloop. No. Nope. Locate the gunshot. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, there it is. Take that. I hope that works. Your Honor, listen to this part. Watch this. I hear nothing. How is this possible? If I fuck that up, I'm going to be pissed. Cause I... Wait, isn't the judge hard of hearing? I can hear just fine, thank you very much. Uh, he heard me thinking. I saw what you were thinking on your face. On your speech, on your text bubble. Motherfucker. Head judge's hearing aside, I too heard nothing. Yeah, I guess it has to be on the on track one. Oh, I have to have it selected. Okay, 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 okay. okay. A penalty on behalf of all who are hearing impaired, you insensitive Whoa. Enjoy! Damn! I just <laughs> roasted you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Roasted you one of the few times it's not our fault. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't matter about having these selected, it, it's this. Oh, it's okay, Iowa yeah, 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 yeah. And this. So. That one highlight. Your Honor, listen closely to this part. This is the track with Lamuar's vocals. I feel like we kind of took the uh, wind out of the sails with that flub, but sure. Whatever. <laughs> we got there eventually. Again, this is Volant at this moment, which is incredible. Yeah. Also, yeah, the, the idea that the entire audience could just hear the gunshot in the middle of that set is really funny. <laughs> I did hear something faintly there, yes. Uh, why, it sounded like a gunshot. What? This has to be some yes. mistake. <laughs> we did it, boys. We ah, did it. Look, what you, look what you've done. You've made my hair go flaccid. <laughs> it seems my hog isn't the only thing not working. <laughs> <laughs> I believe a case has been made. Gunshots were heard during the second set. Which means Lamiwa's testimony was true. Uh, order! So, she was telling the truth about what she heard? It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latus. Well, what did he say? It's Jover. Press the switch. <laughs> we are never coming, Barack. <laughs> Very good. Just after that, time there was a play, gun. Time to play my trump card. God damn it. Oh, that, that was the first case. Uh, yeah. Just after that, there was a gunshot. And then the guitar caught on fire. Detective Crescent, you weren't on stage during the second set. You could have you could have done it. But why did we only hear one gunshot on the recording? Weren't two bullets fired from this weapon? Lamuar was moving through the air vent, Your Honor. She must not have been close enough for her mic to catch the first shot. But then as she passed over the dressing room. Unfired again. Mr. Latusa's life was taken. Well, Detective Crescend? Ah, once again, I am reminded of something. Hmm? 
our performance that day. Your performance? Yeah, it was See, really good, right? <laughs> Jogged my neck. <laughs> you were there too, Hair Forehead. Yeah, now we're gonna bring up his Miss Guitar. Yep. What is with today? Problem after problem. Ah, tongue! <laughs> my hog won't start! My guitar case is busted! Yeah, yeah, we can't keep making these jokes. Yeah, somebody's el somebody else's hog won't start either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm too happy for my hog to start. <laughs> <laughs> my guitar's been burnt to a crisp, and to top it all off, someone's dead! Is, are your concerns in that order, or...? Yeah, that, that's the lowest on the list of priorities. <laughs> then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? This part is off. Which is that, hmm? Second guitar? Ah... Uh, it was you, Darian! Honestly, that was a good callback but I think they could have cut about half of that. <laughs> yeah. I thought it strange at the time. How could you miss such a simple cue? I know you. I know how you play. You're better than that. Yeah, well, I... You what? Hey, Prosecutor mate. Gavin, what are you getting at? You what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the murder weapon, Mr. Latouche's 45 caliber hand cannon. As we have learned, even the shooter doesn't go unscarred with a revolver that size. The kickback is enough to dislocate your shoulder, if you're an amateur. Wait, you mean his playing was affected because he heard himself shooting that revolver? Wait, but he's not an amateur. Yeah. I know he's he he's he should know how to shoot a forty-five without injuring himself. <laughs> I can't imagine you haven't practiced with a similar caliber weapon before. Yeah, no, let's let's, uh, see if, let's see if he calls that out. His weight distribution's off because uh, his hair. Because of the hair, yeah. yeah. He has to lean, it, lean it just, backwards to a. Uh, yeah, it forward. puts his it puts it, his center of gravity it, it, too far I was forward. Say, it really fucks with his center of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgetting something. Yes, Detective Crescent. Okay, I am they are gonna a trained bring it up. police officer. Okay, now. okay, good, good, good. I've had firearms training. Plenty of it. And so has this 12 year old that I'm <laughs> accusing of murder. <laughs> I'm no amateur. The standard sidearm issued to police officers is a 38 caliber weapon. Those extra seven calibers make all the difference. <laughs> a much okay. tamer beast. Look, obviously not all guns fire the same, but once again, I feel like a police officer at least knows how to handle yeah. a weapon. They're not. They should. They shouldn't get injured from firing a forty-five, even if they primarily train right. with a thirty-eight. Like enough to I'm dislocate not... your shoulder. Right. Exactly. Like... It's yeah. It might be uncomfortable, sure, but once again, it, you know, they teach you proper grip and things, so you shouldn't be dislocating yeah. your shoulder. I am not a gun guy, but I know enough to feel like that's weird. But <laughs> it works Listen, for this game, though. Darian knows how to grip his piece. Okay. <laughs> It does get a little out of hand sometimes. Nah, that was good. <laughs> and it just it just explodes all over. <laughs> sometimes it takes him a while to reload. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That just happens to people sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's normal. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> a much tamer beast. Also, the mother weapon belonged to the victim, Mr. Latouche. Which suggests there was a struggle between killer and victim. So, the killer might not have been holding the revolver correctly when he fired. He was holding it backwards. <laughs> Is that what you mean? And then he shot himself in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so oh I mean, shit, I guess the muzzle's like, on the uh, other side. <laughs> what in the Von Karma happened here? Well... Does the witness have anything to say to this? 
Detective Crescent! Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to ask is what Mr. Sleeves rolled up ready for action has to say. That is the uh, worst. What? Yeah, what Nick was that? Please, ever heard. please, Mr. Sleeves rolled up ready for action was my father. <laughs> Call me Sleeves. I'm, gonna, that's, I'm about to try and make that a thing, ironically. <laughs> hey, you. Attorney. Me? There are two attorneys in the room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly which piece of your evidence is decisive again? You got a little noise on a tape that could be anything. Okay. Well. And you have an alleged um, guitar you miss due to a 45 caliber kickback. I weep for this case, Gavin. I really do. You can line up your little weak pieces of evidence all you want. I didn't shoot that manager. And that's the obvious truth. Hmm. The witness has a point. I don't think no, he does. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. You know, like on his hair. Know. His hair is very pointed. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Well, okay, you know, you're right there. <laughs> The defense's arguments, while persuasive, are not decisive. I believe we should hear what the witness has to say in response to the case so far. Your testimony, please, Detective Crescent. Tell us your reasons why you couldn't have done it. We also have not brought up his motive yet, uh, which I'm interested yeah, to hear. Yeah, we have. We have. We haven't even talked about motive yet. Yeah. That's because motives are the most selectively talked about thing in these in this game series. <laughs> sometimes they're incredibly impactful. Sometimes you just never talk about them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why would Maya kill her sister in case one two? Well, no need to talk about yeah, that. Yeah. Let's never bring it up. Yeah. Obviously, her motive was the receipt with her name on it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Wait a second. All right. Uh, proof <laughs> of innocence. Come on! Why would I even want to kill that manager? Egg. Egg. Do you want a reason? Easy. I got no motive, man. Okay, they're literally getting into motive. Great. Does Machi have a motive? <laughs> Technically, uh, actually, I would I say yes. No motive. Oh, yeah, see, I mean, well, I mean, the egg's gonna be the motive for both of them, but yeah. once again, we've never talked, we haven't talked about Machi potentially having a motive yet. Mm -hmm. This was that diva's first trip to this country, right? How could I possibly know her manager? If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? A simple reason indeed. Egg. 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 Have, have you considered egg? Egg. <laughs> egg. No further, no further description Gavin. needed, just egg. <laughs> is it the case that egg... <laughs> is it the case that Mr. Latouche had not been to our country before? According to our records, yes. Not even once. I see. Very well. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. Wait. Now I need to find a motive. <laughs> To kill this that's, guy. That's the best part, Apollo. You don't. <laughs> that's not your job. Uh, Resurrect goes gifted a dollar saying egg. Egg. Um, I mean, do we just throw the egg at him? I mean, <sighs> I guess. Get, get I egg on his face. My only question is going to be, do we need to like press something to get there? But like, we might, yeah, like, we might just... Throw egg out there? I, I don't know what they're. I don't know what they wanted to go with. Hey, Darian, looks like the yolk's on you. Objection! Oh my god, oh, it actually yeah. worked. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> the answer take a look at it. this egg. <laughs> Your Honor, take a look at this. What's that? <laughs> looks like candy. 
He just and eats he, it. And then he, as I say, then he eats oh, it. Oh, it's a big ass candy. Well, Your Honor, now you're immune to incuritis. <laughs> <laughs> you could have saved the Chief Justice's son with that. <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> but you ate it. That's as good as killing him yourself. <laughs> you're going to jail. You're going, going to, to jail. <laughs> uh, it's not. Don't lick it, please. Detective Christian! My tongue is already out of my mouth, Mr. Chuck. He's like, hmm? <laughs> Are you sure? Detective Christian, ever seen this? <laughs> Looks like a piece of candy. Damn. Damn. You got Can us. I eat it? It must really look like a piece of candy. <laughs> what it is, is <laughs> evidence. What is Don't lick it before you try it. What? Apollo, what was that? So, what, is he just supposed to put it all in his mouth yeah, immediately and swallow? swallow? Is this a jawbreaker from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Specifically, this is a replica of a cocoon. It was found among the victim's belongings. A cocoon? I've never seen one that color. It is a variety only found in the Republic of Virginia. Nowhere else. All right. But what is this cocoon replica doing in my courtroom? Surely this has nothing to do with a motive for killing Mr. Latouche. <laughs> does it? <coughs> it does! I, I mean, I think it does. You don't sound so confident, man. A cocoon. Is it one of those silky cocoons? The kind that you can make, well, silk out of? What are we doing here? Not this one. This cocoon <laughs> makes a powerful curative. A curative? Uh, for what? Now, Judge, you're not going to believe this. There's a disease <laughs> called incuritis. And it cures that. <laughs> Apparently, it is most efficacious at treating a disease through is a disease thought incurable. That's a ten. I'll give word. you one guess as efficacious. <laughs> I'll give you one guess as to what the name of this disease might be. It is the only medicine of its kind. However, it is illegal to take one of these healing cocoons out of Virginia. Whatever for? If it's such a miracle cure, why not share it with the world? Pharmaceutical companies, yeah. Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been wondering. We looked into the matter at some length. Apparently, it isn't difficult at all to manufacture the remedy from the cocoon. Okay. Yet, if you change the process only slightly... Uh... You can easily make a large quantity of something else inside. What is it going to be like uranium? Yeah. Like what? That's right, what it, meth. What's it going to be? <laughs> Urine? <laughs> a deadly poison, in fact. Wh what? There was an incident several years ago where some of these got out into the black market. It caused quite the commotion in the global community. Though the media was kept largely unaware. The global community. Mm. <laughs> Intriguing. All this has led to a strict ban on the cocoon's export. One rigidly enforced by Interpol, among others. Interpol? Right. The victim, Romain Latouse, was an Interpol agent. Detective Christian, you insist on referring to him as a manager. That is misleading. Romain Latouse wasn't killed as a manager, and you didn't shoot him as a guitar player. He was killed <laughs> as an undercover agent. So I was trying to smuggle this gumball into the country? <laughs> that what you're trying to say? I'm saying that... I'm saying that could well be a motive for murder. Oh, 
So I was gonna sell it on the black market. Make my oh, pretty penny. I already had a buyer. Oh, the buyer's gonna be calling me in 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> if I don't deliver it, I'm a dead man. <laughs> oh, the buyer's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, you think all that's true? I might have said too much there. What are you saying? Oh, I'm just a motive? Gus Fring's oh. gonna walk into this courtroom and then he's <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm so scared that I just pooed my pants. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that my waist is hidden behind this bench. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, totally unthinkable. Unthinkable, you say? Why? I'm already thinking Because I didn't it. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it's time. For another testimony! Hey, can, we, can we just get him, Your Honor? Come on. About this smuggling of cocoons business. I wonder the next testimony is going to be called. Is it smuggling of cocoons? Is it smuggling of cocoons? Oh, cocoon smuggling. Cocoon smuggling. <laughs> Ooh, a twist. They did. They really turned that about at us. <laughs> Wait, they turned the words about. about. Yep, yep. All right. Let's do it. International. F oh yeah. Oh this yeah. Is... I'm reading these. <laughs> International want, affairs I mean, got a memo to. about the about these cocoons. <laughs> Interpol's all hot and bothered about them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. These are some sexy cocoons, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sell them on the black market. Too dangerous. Not like I would know. <laughs> Yeah, cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. Man, I'm in international affairs. I know the deal. Hey, I'm gonna guess that last sentence is not the one we object to, because that's a nothing statement. <laughs> Indeed. Interpol wanted these cocoons bad enough to send Mr. Latouche undercover. You kids think of the crazy. You kids say the darndest <laughs> things. The darndest things. <laughs> but no way am I gonna risk life and limb and hair just to get my hands on some dirty cocoon money. <laughs> also phrasing. I don't know. It's just a really weird way of saying that. <laughs> like, there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing inherently bad with that, but I just don't like those yeah. words together. Your Honor, I dirty object to the way he phrased money. that. Sustained. You're right, Mr. Justice. <laughs> From now on, it's illegal to say dirty cocoon money. <laughs> Not the most noble of statements, but duly noted. According to reports, these cocoons top Interpol's list. Right, of, right over your kiss. <laughs> Selling them to an <laughs> underground organization would be risky. Hmm. What about a book Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. What about a Tony Hawk's underground <laughs> oh, organization? Oh, shit. He has that and he can pull off the 1080, you know? Oh, my God. This is the only motive I've got. He was up to something, and I'm going to find out what. I love it's how this case has gotten, motive, like... But it's mine. I love how this case has gotten so ridiculous that our commentary has just become, like, completely farcical. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's... It, it hasn't you been... You can tell... Yeah, it's, it hasn't been on the rails for a very long time, it feels like. That's what happens when they don't let us bring up how did that... That, that it makes no sense that Machi could move the body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which... They just let us yeah. do it. <clears throat> okay. Cocoon snuggling... Who's got a memo about the cocoons? They're hot and bothered, which is also weird. Can't sell them on the black market, too dangerous. <laughs> Cocoon smuggling ain't lucrative. And I'm in international affairs. Um, this is just like a completely useless testimony. <laughs> yeah. Virginia. <laughs> Strikes close to home than ever before. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I like guess that's, that's something. Yeah. Can't I mean, the... even the judge knows about it, so. Yeah. Can't sell on the black market too dangerous. It's not lucrative. I mean, I, I don't know which one it would be to, but maybe this. Unless maybe we have press. Maybe we have to press some stuff first. Yeah, yeah. might need to press some things just to try and get more information until he does say something yeah. that's more, you know, dangerous. Yeah, Interpol finds you. They arrest you on the spot. I mean, I assume as they do with most things you sell on the black market, <laughs> it's not exactly <laughs> a legal operation. Nah, usually the airport just lets you off with a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Says, a slap Please on don't the wrist. do that anymore. <laughs> or another marketeer might think you're part of a sting and take you out himself. Times have changed. Okay. Uh, Hold it. anymore. But wouldn't scarcity drive up prices? Free market. Yeah. And attention. But and demand. <laughs> Every gangster and his brother would want a piece of that action. They gotta pull themselves up by their bootstraps. <laughs> <laughs> they turn your forehead into Swiss cheese before you could say objection. Like, I get that my forehead is bigger than most characters, but it's not that ridiculous. Why does everybody have to keep bringing it up? <laughs> Maybe we could get them to cut his hair, too. Bro, what the... Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Who's on trial here again? Man, you so obviously know nothing about the market. Do Why you? Why do you know so much about the market? <laughs> and that's a bad thing? Don't even try to mess with me about this stuff. Okay, and that leads into his final statement. Um... I mean, come on, we gotta know that he knows the- we gotta know more about him knowing the deal. Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. How much he of the deal the does deal. he know? Which is why you'd know how to find a loophole in the system! Hey, you can say what you want about me, but back off of inter international affairs. I was just talking about you. There ain't no loopholes, okay? What do you think we are, Boy Scouts? That wasn't what I was trying to... Uh... Down, Darian. <laughs> it's as you said. Whoa. Bark, bark. I'm a shark. <laughs> there are no loopholes, at least in the case of these cocoons. International affairs, Interpol, and Virginian customs are all watching, even as we speak. <laughs> See? We know what we're doing. Not like some yipping little doggies that lap up every word that diva says. Why I oughta... Why I oughta... Oughta what? Oughta. Oughta. You want some of this? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Chill, both of you. Let's chilies, do this cool, it's both yeah? of you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to chilies, yeah? The endless uh, tostada. Screw cool! I want this guy's head <laughs> on a stick! Whoa, Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> that went from zero to a hundred. Replica has to be the key to this motive. There's got to be a way to find out what he was up to. Mm. Yeah, okay. I can't think of anything else other than what you were thinking of, Zach. Yeah, Quinn smuggling isn't lucrative. Just make sure... What does it say? Maybe extracted. Yeah, I, I I guess it's just proof that like, hey, there's there's, there's a, a case need here for it, you know. Yeah. Hey, oh, the yep. music's not. There you go. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Why not choose a less dangerous buyer then? I would. How clueless are you? Everyone in the market's dangerous. The second they found out I was a cop, I could kiss my keister goodbye. I feel like Darian just throws in the weirdest words to his sentences that don't feel like they would come out of his mouth, but like, he does it enough that I guess it's like his personality. Uh-huh. 
it's very he's kind of he's kind of a he's just kind of a i don't know he he feels like a fuck boy to me oh absolutely yeah. absolutely fucking lutely but like who like what person under the age of 70 says keister keister that's, that's a good point <laughs> why sell to a black market buyer how about someone like this like this that article that's about the Chief Justices. A deadly poison can be extracted from the cocoon, but so can a cure. Not a cure for just any disease. A cure for incuritis. I incuritis? I've heard of that somewhere. Judge, oh, God come on, damn it. Yeah, have I? I've been going to the hospital I, every day. You, oh, you went to visit a victim tongue. of the disease this morning. Oh, come on, Judge. It's right there. No, 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 it doesn't sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to the hospital. That would. That might have been my brother. <laughs> <laughs> my Canadian brother How's did he that. Doing, eh? Ah, why, that's the disease the Chief Justice's son has. You aren't saying. Our witness is a detective. He would have contact with the Chief Justice. You are saying. <laughs> the Chief Justice would never deal in contraband. But if it would save his son's life, maybe? Yeah. Not even to save his own son's life? No, not even then. <laughs> but even if the deal went through, why, it'd be an international scandal. That's Detective Crescent's insurance. If word ever got out, the one with his neck on the line would be the Chief Justice. Detective Crescent, is this true? First, I'm a murderer. Now I'm a smuggler. Yes, yes that's right. You guys, just, you guys really just keep getting it right, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You guys are on ball today. Good job. How many crimes are you trying to pin on me anyway? You also it's jaywalked tasteful. on the way here. <laughs> God damn it. As tasteful as it is to think about, if the Chief Justice were the buyer, why... A seller couldn't hope for a better deal. A very cowardly seller. Damn. Don't let sleeves over there trick you. He's really what? trying to make this a thing! Sleeves! <laughs> what was it? Sleeves rolled up and ready to go? Mr. Sleeves rolled yeah. up and ready to go? I guess, I guess since Clavier has the patent on the forehead jokes, yeah. he's yeah, just he like scraping the bottom of the barrel. He doesn't want to steal the forehead bit, so he's just going with this much he's worse. He's like, uh, story. what about you? Uh, hey, loser, you've got sleeves. Hey, you hey, wear, hey, you two wear eyes shoes. over there. <laughs> hey, hey you shirt wearing nose. jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wear pants. Haha, <laughs> 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 tooth. Rusher. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I made a deal with the Chief Justice. Where's your proof? Well... Oh yeah, and you're forgetting one other important thing. Do tell. Interpol isn't the only ones out there watching this. Virginian Customs barely sleeps, they're so worried about cocoons getting out. Hmm. So we were informed. Let's continue with the cross-examination. Oh my god, what else is there?